An easy way to compare values to find the minimum and maximum is to use the math class. So in using the math class, I believe we have to import it, but for Eclipse, we can just start typing math dot, and we have this java.lang.math that's gonna come up and it tells us a lot. And we have all of these different math functions and things that we can do inside of here from very simple stuff to cotangent signs and tangents. But what we're looking for is math.min and math.max. And we can pass in doubles, floats, integers, longs. But we're just gonna do integers for here. So we're gonna take two values as arguments and it's going to return the smallest one. So if we have like three and four in here um, and we put this in a print line statement. So if we use this out dot print line and we put this in here and we run this, it is going to print to the console three because three is the smallest. Now, if we do the same thing, but we change this to be math.max, it's going to return the larger of the two. And so running this, it would return four. So this first one, the minimum returns three, the other one returns four. Also, we can put values in here. So int, and we can just say x is equal to, we'll do eight, or seven, sorry. And then we will also do, let's say u, is equal to let's just say four and we would end this line and if we come down here and we do sys out dot print line and we do math dot we'll do math dot min and we pass in x and we pass in u well it's obviously going to return the minimum of the two which is four right here now what if we have three variables and we want to find the min well let's make a third variable we will make uh, let's just do i and we'll set it equal to 10. Well, inside of here, we could do math.min and we can also pass in something else. It doesn't have to just be a variable. So we could do math, ah, math dot, uh, we'll do min and we can pass in u and i. So if we run this, it's going to pass in, well, it's still going to be four because of u and i which are these two the minimum is four and then between seven and four the minimum is four so we would still print out four but if we wanted the max this one's a little bit more interesting we would compare u and i the maximum is obviously i which is 10 and then we, we would compare x and i which is seven and ten and we would return ten so we'd print out well actually oh oh it's still printing out seven because in here we're returning the minimum. But if we change this to max, it would then return 10. So we can pass in multiple things, not just integers, but that's how you would go about finding the minimum and max of two numbers or of multiple numbers.